How you doing everyone? I don't know if this mobile phone's going to line up properly. I have it sitting here on top of the back boiler with a stone wedge in a position. But uh, I'm out observing uh, sunspots today. It's Saturday, Saturday morning, beautiful Saturday morning. The mist has burnt off. It's a lovely clear day. And uh, doing some solar observing. This is my 90mm ETX Mead telescope. I've had this for a long time. It's a Maxoto Cassegrain design. as folded optical system so it's a longer telescope and a compact package. But anyway, I'm using the standard 26mm low power eyepiece here. What I'm doing is, you never want to look through the telescope or binoculars at the sun ever because it can seriously damage your eyes or even cause blindness. So, the safest way to observe the sun is, what I do is I look at the corrector plate at the front of the scope and I can see a reflection of the sun's glare, like a, like a spot, a bright hazy spot on the, on the glass. So I manoeuvre it so that the spot is at the centre. And then I've stuck a sheet of paper on the astronomy book here to project the sun's image safely onto the sheet of paper. So, which is just about visible at the top here. I'm going to lower this down. Let's see here. I don't know if you're seeing this on the mobile phone. I don't know if the angle of the camera shows this or not. I really need a second person here to help me out. But there's the disc of the sun I projected onto a sheet of paper. It's completely safe. It's white light. You're just looking at a piece of paper, so there's no danger to your eyes at all. And then I, I can adjust the paper, the distance of the paper from the eyepiece. I can get a large disc, I can get a small disc, whatever I wish. And I can adjust the focus to refine the, the detail on the uh, on the sun. Now I hope you can see that there. It's probably not from your position. But I can see the sunspot grip here. It's very really easy to do. It's a very quick and simple way of solar observing. So this is the new active region in the sun that's appeared a number of days ago over the southeast limb. The telescope uh, always puts images upside down, so south is up here. So this is south of the disk. As you can see, if you can see it, the sunspot grip is actually approaching the middle of the sun. That's the central meridian, as astronomers call it. That's the north-south line on the solar disk. And typically, if you get an active sunspot grip, you want to be seeing it erupting when it's on the meridian or close to it a few days either side. That way it's geo-effective, so any CMEs will be uh, Earth-directed. At the minute, it's in a prime position. Uh, this has gone fairly quiet, but it's, the last few days has been due some regular C-class solar flares. In fact, one of them was a C7-class flare, which has come very close to being in the M-class territory, which is quite strong. Uh, so it's been very active. It is a chaotic magnetic field. It's probably about five or six times the length of the Earth. So these are, these are large objects. See it's drifting across the field of view here, so I have to constantly adjust it. The right ascension axis there, declination. Although this is an alt of mount, so it's just left, right, up and down. So that's a very simple way of showing people the, the solar disk. Worth trying at home if you have a telescope. You can even do it with binoculars too. Adjust your focus. Of course, the the seeing conditions will in the atmosphere will determine how well defined the sunspot is. And at this time of year, the solar disk is a lot lower in the sky because we're getting into winter. You're looking for a thicker atmosphere, it's a little more turbulent. But you can see the grips anyway, it's pretty impressive. Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen a conspicuous sunspot grip in the sun. We just come out of solar minimum, we're now into the new solar cycle, so new solar cycle seems to be kicking off pretty well. I'm very happy to see that. Even if there's no aurora from it, it's still great to see uh, sunspots again. And it'll only be a matter of time before large groups of sun spots will be covering the disk of the sun, and there'll be a very large, prominent naked eye sunspots, which I've seen before in previous cycles. And it's those kind of setups which produce the major aurora displays in this country. Uh, exciting times ahead in the future. But anyway, that's how you do it. That's how you do it safely. Um, give it a go and be safe.